what's going on everybody hope everybody's having an awesome day uh today we're going to be doing something on a hatch that i wanted to do a long time ago or ever since i got the car uh, i'm going to be changing out the steering wheel for a s2000 steering wheel so um yeah i've been wanting to do that for a while because of ek steering wheel is so huge and is, I, I don't know but i like the style of the s2k way better it's a little bit smaller looks sportier and it's just all around it just looks better feels better so so yeah the hatch is actually a mess right now everything's apart everything's in pieces i'm just slowly painting some of the interior uh plastic panels i uh, did the door in red and black i will be making a video on the driver's side how to swap out the little cloth for the red one uh, once i find a panel because trying to find one is impossible or you're either going to pay $200 so that's where we're at so we're going to be swapping out this steering wheel for an S2000 steering wheel so let's get to it so here's the S2000 steering wheel in question I kind of cleaned up the airbag portion a little bit so you can see the difference this thing is really dirty but I'll clean it up once it's on the car and make it look pretty good so uh let's get to it so the first thing that you want to do is pop these plastic covers off on both sides then it's going to expose the uh torx bit whatever to that secures the steer the airbag to the steering wheel so once you pop the covers off you'll see there's a torx screw in there and what you want is a a T30 I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick that up, but you want a T30 on a ratchet because I had a screwdriver trying to screw it off, but it, it just wouldn't budge. So um, your best bet is to get the T30 on a ratchet and then go to work. Also, I forgot to mention, I already did it before, but make sure you disconnect the battery because you do not want the airbag to go off. You do not want the airbag to go off in your face. That'd be tragic. So after you take off both um, both torque bits, set them aside, and then airbag slides out. And you want to make there's going to be a couple of connections. Um, just unplug them, and then it should just come on out. So these are the connectors, the uh, airbag sensor thing. Uh, I think these are for the horn and whatnot. And then you have these here that you want to disconnect as well. So uh, let's go ahead and see if I can do this with one hand. <sighs> Probably never works that way. <sighs> you want to push up and then pull. Ugh. Yeah, that's probably not going to work. <sighs> uh, I think I'm going to need two hands for this one. This plug. Uh, the way to take it off is you just uh, you pull back on it and then it just should be able to pop it off there you go airbag is disassembled put that to the side so this is actually a 19 millimeter uh bolt or not bolt but nut so get your 19 make sure your steering wheel is straight straight as it can get and you might want to use your legs to stabilize the steering wheel so it's not turning as you try to loosen this thing there we go You got that off now here's the real fun part which is pulling off the steering wheel you just want to pull back on it or just go left and right and then boom and come out nice and easy so now that we got that out let's go ahead and grab our s2000 steering wheel and mock it up so here we are 
S2000 steering wheel. Kind of a little bit dusty, but I'll go ahead and just line that up as straight as possible. You also want to make sure you feed these cables through here. The SRS wheel is at the top. Alrighty, make sure that's that. And there you go. We're in there. There we go. Now put your 19 millimeter bolt back on. I'm not sure the torque specs, but I am gonna tighten this as much as humanly possible. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. Make sure you get that nice and tight because the only thing holding the steering wheel onto this steering rack is that 19 millimeter bolt so or not you make sure this thing is on Whew, really tight there we go so that's that i believe this is the horn so i'm just going to connect this run it through here and connect it to one of the metal contacts here and just slip it on just like how it was on the um, EK steering wheel. Slip that on, boom. And then this will connect to the, this will connect to the, uh, the airbag module. But um, yeah, let's leave that there for now. And this, this is the uh, cruise control, which this car doesn't have it. So you don't, I don't have to worry about that. Um, so I'm just gonna be using some Purple Power toothbrush and just spray it in and brushing it and see where we go. Here we are. It's pretty much way better than before. Cleaned it up fairly decently. Uh, I don't have the covers, so this is gonna just be without the covers so you might see uh, the wires exposed or at least in my case I'm gonna see the wires exposed um, I'll probably get those covers sometime later on down the road but I'm really excited that at least we got the the headlight or not the headlight at least got the airbag itself because trying to grab one of these was uh, quite a task so Plug up the wires. Just to finish up, put fin finishing touches. Make sure you put the uh, Torx bolts back in, and you're uh, good to go. So now for the real finishing touch, I'm gonna put 303 protectant. I um, actually bought this not too long ago. I was seeing all the reviews. Everybody says good things. Tried it. Man, I love this thing. It's kind of pricey, 15 bucks, 15 bucks for a bottle, but I think it's definitely worth it. And one reason I like this so much is that unlike Armor Oil and all the other ones, or Armor Oil, this leaves that nice shiny look without the greasy feel to it. So it's a really, really nice product. Definitely recommend for any person who cares about the interiors of their cars and you know maintaining its nice luxurious black appearance so here it is all said and done after the 303 protectant um, looks so much better I'm just missing these um, plastic covers here to cover up these wires and stuff but yeah i'm very happy man i've been trying to get this for a long time so i connected the battery just to make sure everything works and here we go Woo! so the horn works yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that video a uh, quick little uh how to on um 
putting in a steering wheel, it could be a Civic Si, RFA5 steering wheel, S2K, quite a few others, they're very interchangeable. It's all the same thing. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.